There, there's like weird death planes and just like such odd spots. Don't understand it. I don't quite understand. Insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass? National Cabbage Day coming up soon. It was last month. You would make a it's the 17th of February. I was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade kill stock. And the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn it was March? Nah. Well, I mean, we didn't really do anything special for it this year. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two oh my god, my frame rate, like, looking at certain areas is just so horrendous. Their bloodthirsty <clears throat> like, for the most part, I don't have issue getting the, the frame rate required, but, like, certain areas I've got the rings and I'm just does not want to work. How long will they remain in your possession? Yeah. As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Please see the pen message at the top of the chat. Thank you. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall you. When you return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. First thing he will do is why, am, why is my frame rate so dog shit here? Apparently everybody wants Hello? Why? Does everybody want personal bot assassins? Think, Major. Who has asked you about the beta connectors? Sechenov with his metal twins? <laughs> Stockhausen, Sechenov's right hand lick spittle? Granny Zena, a secret double agent whose affiliation remains completely unknown? Or would you like to fulfill Petrov's dying wish and give Falatova the connectors? What the hell is going on? Am I the only sane person here? As you can see, we are the only... <laughs> Probably not worth doing infinite... I mean, infinite jumps downhill. It's a bad idea. <clears throat> more blood, more yes, chat is only in English. Destroyed before it's too late. It isn't too late, Charles. Not yet. Uh, probably gotta just... Let that go. We are... Right. I think we still got the thing anyways, right? Yeah. I don't know what happens if we choose the bad ending with this. With the good ending, you're just allowed to leave. Oh, it does take you back into it. Cool. <clears throat> Interesting. Or not? No, this is my. This, yeah, this is the other save. Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I yeah, this is it not. Yeah, no, no, didn't work. Uh, boo. Oh my god. It's, <laughs> I just want to finish testing this run. Be done with it. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Where is I my like graphic options like as low as possible. Mm. Yep. 
Pretty much. Shader cash. Sir. Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Wow, oh my god. I mean, Just jump. Please jump. Please jump. Please. Oh my god. There's a safe house down here? What? I'm already playing at 1080p. Wait. Not really. I mean, he's Interesting. Not really. I mean, not really. I mean, I was gonna say it again. Not really. I mean, he's never really had. <laughs> it's funny. Now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Not Jellyman. Collective really so important. He can't even delay it out of respect for the dead. I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go. Get some Not the jelly man. I mean, this is like just no, not a thing that'll happen in runs now. It's like, uh, it's annoying how to deal with it. The Jelly Baby. That's what they called him in high school. threat coming from your glove it is manipulating you take it sure. off before it's too late uh but a bit bum i don't think i really well actually i actually have, have quite a bit of stuff to upgrade oh, i'm the, sick of you damn. going on about the glove but i'm right darling yeah yeah you just want to murder me not gonna happen how could you even think that sugar i only kill pathetic horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. Okay. So let's go see if my idea works. Ooh, can we get a stuck launch? A stuck launch would be amazing here. So I want to get up to the tower. I know the... Uh, fight thing exists. My frame rate up here is atrocious, by the way. Not really like rocks and stuff to get stuck on. Um, some like weird. Collision with this stuff, right? Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, here's some rocks. Maybe. Maybe. That looks like a stuckable spot. Not climbable. I want stuckable. Okay, that just doesn't exist. Cool. Uh, yeah, my firm right here is garbage. Hot garbage. Wait. Did it not save? Wait, hold on a second. Is this the save I want? <clears throat> Hello? Oh my god, stop saving over top of the other ones. Did I not click save? Oh, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Really? What? Am that stupid? I swear to God, I click save. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saved as well. I, I don't. I don't get it. Clarissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. <laughs> I just want to test this one thing and it's just... Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> it's so goddamn annoying. So I run, well, this will never happen. I won't ever have to worry about it. So the fact that I have to worry about it now is just so dumb. My frame rate sucks ass. Oh my god, just let me end the game. Jumps, 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 infinite jumps, 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 infinite jumps. Nah, fucking. Guess I'm up here now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So annoying. <laughs> cool.
Yeah, I don't really understand suck boost at all. Uh, we. Really? That's too high? Oh my god. I just want the pain to end. Like why? Oh, why? Why must I cry? That's what I want. Come on, show me Chalamet. Oh, I hit something. I think I hit the top of the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't understand stock boost, but, but. We <laughs> Stock boosts are awesome. Yeah, if, if you just go too far, it just like fucking unloads everything. It's funny. Or it doesn't unload everything, you just get stuck. See, this is the idea I had before just doing the cutscene is, you know, uh, this is actually like a decent spot if we can get it to shoot straight up um, consistently. Is go from the end, the start of Limbo 3 into Limbo 2's exit. Come back up here. Uh, jump over here, make a save on this, and then stock boost up into Chelame. And just avoid the Cutscene with Granny. So one, it's cooler, and two, it'd be a little faster, I think. I just, I, I don't understand stuck boost at all. I'm about to be just launched. <laughs> Lou. So I can see via the trainer uh, that my speed's going up to like 700 meters a second when I get stuck. Like if I if I jump a whole okay if I jump a bunch oh my god, 2,000 meters a second. Problem is how do you get unstuck? <laughs> uh. How much can you stack it? 5,000 meters a second? What's the speed of light? <laughs> 9,000, 10,000 meters a second? Or under a thousand kilometers a second. Oh shit! I don't think we can get up that high. <laughs> I want to macro it so bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get unstuck. Can we break the speed of light in a video game? <laughs> uh, how would one go about getting unstuck? Oh, I just. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-huh <laughs> gone <laughs> bloop Oh 
like, I just fucking load the- I just want to be up there. <laughs> so annoyed, just let me up. Uh, I guess I can make a safe position with my- My trainer. Did not make a safe. Hello? Oh uh, yes, concrete hands. Not made a save. Whoa! <laughs> We're falling. We're falling. Uh, I think Chelomay is only like a few thousand, like at most two thousand meters away. Uh, I should really know like the the actual height. <laughs> So once I, if I know the rough height, then as long as I know the position, then I can just boost up and then, uh, infinite jump over. People leave Earth. I'm gone. People gone. Okay, I just I just need like a slower boost. <laughs> sort of I like sort of maybe understands. I guess I gotta just reload the save position. I love how the uh, momentum carries over if you try to move back to your safe position. Something funky about how these work. So I actually like don't want that much speed. Mm-hmm. 
We. I mean, this kind of boost would be great for the intro. Um, because like the very first split, we literally have to come over here, and our um beginning is like right next to the lighthouse. So if if I could, yeah, I mean, I might be somewhat okay. It means we'd have to jump over to the lighthouse and then use that back. Should still probably be faster, actually. I don't, I don't quite understand how. I uh, don't quite understand it. Means it's probably something I shouldn't try to ride into the run at the moment. We. <laughs> it's fun to mess with, though. It is fun to mess with. So I just want like a like a small boost up into the sky. Mm, get this hop pretty fast. You hit the top before you can stop. Still, like, way too high. Problem not is not knowing exactly how far Chelame is. Like, is it above me? <laughs> oh yeah, it's got to be above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Chalamet is pretty fucking big. Okay, so I mean, it's way above that. Uh, this is a pretty stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming Chalamet will load back in once you leave it. No. Uh, I want to boost up. Yeah, like figuring out how to boost up instead of backwards. It would be nice. It's probably like all in the angle. Yeah. 
You think Chalamet is even higher up? I guess I could look at any percent and see when it says the walk around the crowd, how far down that is, right? That makes sense. Um, that seems like a, you know, like a logical thing to think. The rest of the way could go to the parade. It's about 2,000 meters away. The Chilome is pretty fucking big. It might, once you unload it, it might not load back in. So I feel like it would be here. Unless this is Chelame? This could be Chelame, right? Seems really small for Chelame. Uh, climbing up here might be impossible. A nice, like, one meter a second. Th yeah, this would be Chelame. So it's the fucking island. Uh... Okay. Chalameo. <gasps> Got him. Okay. I think I might understand. <clears throat> Gain speed and then dash backwards. Jump in here. Oh my god, this is... Oh... <laughs> uh, now will any of it load in? <laughs> Please. Please, sir. It seems really small to be Chalamet. Like, stupidly small. Like, there's no way this is Chalamet. <laughs> it's kind of small. Uh, I think there's some loading shenanigans that happen. To where this should look way bigger than it is. Uh, <laughs> this is tiny. Holy shit. Yeah, just infinite jump up into the air real quick. Damn, that would have been like a really sexy boost if that was, uh... Now I'm like 3,400 away. What? There's no way this exists, right? Uh, this may not be possible. I mean, this is like how you fall through for any percent, but the actual part of Chalamet is not there. Well, that's... Hmm. Is there a bigger one down here somehow? In any percent, you're about 2,000 meters away from the parade. So, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Weird. Okay, let's forget that idea <laughs> for now. Proof of concepts there. That's a good stuck spot. Um, but I, I just want to go fucking actually do a run. <laughs> so where is she? Clarissa, 
freaking critters. You around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's got to be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone, but she's got something. <laughs> But, you know, might uh, might come back into play at some point. So that was my original idea. I had actually like posted on the Discord kind of as a meme. I was like, what if we just boost up to the end, you know? <laughs> that meme might just be a dream. I don't trust anyone, but she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> Wee fluffy bunny time. Oh, I just had a thought. Um, so I did save, right? We all thought I saved. Maybe with how we're doing this, you don't actually get your stuff back from Limbo. There might be a trigger somewhere along the way in Limbo that you have to hit. Which could be a problem. Unless Granny's supposed to give you your stuff back, I don't really remember casually. I thought you just had it. So I was like 99% sure I saved. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, because I don't have my weapons here. It says I have them here, though. What do you mean? Do you not have them on the island? Is that the thing? Like, if I take this rope down, am I going to get them back? No, I'm still fluffy mode. What? <laughs> Why am I still fluffy? I got, I got put back in the fluff. Okay, so I mean, I can confirm this is my save now. But I thought saving before took me out of it, didn't it? No, I'm still... <laughs> still fluffy. Um, I delete the other saves. I don't think deleting the saves would change anything. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach such an out before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything. In case you don't like his answers. See, that's what we hit before. So this is just not loaded. Or I kind of find it. Uh...
Oh my god, I, I jump up and it lowers my FPS so I drop back down because I can't infinite jump. Okay. No, I didn't want to drop. Okay. Uh, that ceiling is not there. If that ceiling is not there, then that's great. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, Yo, what up, dude? I'm gonna be your new pet from now on. What are you, what are you doodling over here? <laughs> You'll say what's up. Hey, I'm Fluffy. You wanna pet me? Oh, shaking. We shaking. Whoa, that just launched me. Cause I'm pretty sure the fight sequence is still here. Uh, ooh, I was hoping we could do this without. The fuck's this for? Trying to make this good run. Oh, and with with the route we have now, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a run. So I, th I th I'm pretty sure if we get to the other side of this door, which yeah, I do, if I load back into where I was, I think we'll be good. It'll work, but what is that door? Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> and it gets past uh, quite a lot of cutscene too. Not all of them, but. Uh, the rules are you have to get to the end of every chapter. It's still, like, super not defined. I've kind of defined it on my own. Um, as long as you hit the end of every chapter, um, which the end is kind of arbitrary and, you know, up for discussion for sure, um, then you're good to go. Which for, um, for Chelome, it is getting the atomic heart cutscene before picking up the axe. For Vavilov Complex, um, I have it set to opening the door for the canisters. So we still get all four canisters. Um, even if we got to the elevator, I couldn't find a way to make it work. Um, so the run's not just get to the elevator, ride it out sort of thing. Uh, Forrester, Forrester is just getting on the train and getting the train ticket. Uh, VDNH Outdoor is killing Hedgy, the roly ball boy. Uh, VDNH uh, Exhibition is repairing the droid made with the four parts and getting the cutscene um, and getting into Limbo 2, or Limbo 1, rather. Um, theater is getting to the Natasha fight, but we can skip the Natasha fight as long as you get to it. Um, Sahalin is just getting into the Pavlov complex. It's a split I'm going to take out. Pavlov complex is... I don't remember Pavlov complex. Uh, what was it for this one? Anybody remember? <laughs> Anybody here two hours ago? Um, oh, it was the out of bounds. The out of bounds into the Limbo 2 cutscene. And then Academy is an out of bounds into uh, the final room with uh, the lady doctor. Can't remember her name. No, cars are completely out of the equation. <laughs> and then, yeah, Bad Ending is going to be doing the fight here, uh, which we might have to watch the first cutscene. Okay, so I think if we 
go up here. Okay, you can just go on that way. Yeah, I can't loot any of these things. That It's probably an issue. I can't interact with anything is the bigger issue. <laughs> As it turns out. Um, I don't know why I've become this furry critter that I cannot... Uh, get away from... Okay, hold on, let me let me ride the thing down. Lots of yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see like what what the speed this can do, if you have the FPS, like you just don't need cars. He's. Uh, okay. Let me jump. I'm not gonna get the FPS here. Do I still have a save further back? Oh, I guess I can go lighthouse. Uh, yeah, it's just hard to like navigate where you're going when looking up with this stuff. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's got to be here. Do you trust Dr. Philoctiva? I don't trust I guess I can try looking up. It's also hard to know if I'm, like, falling down at all. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean... Yeah, like, the speed you get from this is ridiculous. Like, wee. Can you use a macro? I mean, at the moment I'm just scrolling it, but I think a macro would probably be perfectly fine. We. It's 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 like just spamming scroll wheel. <laughs> cool. uh, all right. Let me see if I take the zip line. If I get out of this weird state. It was weird because I didn't... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I might just do a run and like go for the fight at the end, but... Wee! Look at my little furry hands. Still furry. <laughs> I don't think this fight's gonna end well for me. Well, I kind of hear like every squeak. Be careful, Major. Is that left or right? Same difference. Am I taking damage? Oh, yep, I am. <laughs> uh. I can't fight you. <laughs> I just, like literally, literally can't fight. The problem is the only way I think I can fix this um, is to like literally rewatch the entirety of the lighthouse cutscene stuff. I don't really want to do. Good despawner. Well, I think you... <laughs> I think if you have control over your character, you can just skip straight to the second fight. But considering I can't interact with anything. Like, here, I was fine, and then I went into the third part, and it fucked up. Um, so where is she? Okay. I need to... I need to see. Um...
I won't have any of my weapons, but uh and come on, Sergei. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. I'll be able to interact with stuff at least. So I can get into the final cutscene. And it is too late to change anything. Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I, mean, I can like literally like debug it and like what do you mean? Give myself whatever I want, but no handsome. My room will always be Uh I don't remember how I did that stuck launch. I don't even know where it was. It's like cheating? Oh, for sure. Should have been paying more attention when I did that. Oh. Okay, that's a good spot. Ah, uh, if I only get my infant jumps, there we go. Whee! Is the room? Wait, what? Is it higher up? Okay. <laughs> I just need to know, like, the whereabouts of where this stuff is. Is it higher? Really? I figured his office would be pretty much on par with the thing. Pray one? Uh, I might get one later on. I'm just using free scroll for now. I've always used free scroll for that map. Like, I have the dishonored one and whatnot, but. Um. I might be able to use that. Just use my cheaty G502. So my problem isn't really like the jump inputs. I think it's pretty lenient on that. It's just the frame rate. For me, the frame rate's like way more important. So I, if I like drop one, then I can just escape and start another chain. It's just. How did I? Yeah, I thought this was a good spot. It is higher. Whoa. Whoa. This game lies. This game's a filthy liar. It is nice you can, like, come in here and, like, make a... Pit stop. Okay, let's see with controls if I can do anything here. I'll beat this guy up. Yeah, fuck your desk. Can I kill the twins without even fighting him? Oh my god. Imagine if I killed him here and then went into the fight and then they just died instantly. That'd be hilarious.
Yeah, if the game retained the damage dealt, that'd be amazing. <laughs> okay, so we can just skip the first fight. Obviously, I can't really win this fight because I just have my fist. Because it's a pre-saved thing, but... <clears throat> I was hoping we could skip this. So I think once we kill them, that's GG. And like the, the final cutscene doesn't really matter, which is quite a bit longer. I really hope one of them starts with like no health. It might actually, it might actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, it might actually retain the damage. Oh my god. Uh, I need to get back over there and then give myself a weapon. <laughs> uh, no shot. No shot. Oh my god, this runs so good. <laughs> the memes. I went way too high. For other bosses? I mean, I don't know where any of the other bosses would, like, technically be spawned in at. Uh, but maybe. Yeah, I need to drop down and then... <laughs> That's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna give myself the, the... I wonder if there's like a... A good indication of them actually being dead. Otherwise we're just gonna have to like know the... the count for it, you know, like... Yeah, I mean, it's getting hurt, and it's... I just wonder if, like, it'll actually die, or if I'm just gonna have to, like, assume it's dead. And we'll have to, like, be like, oh, it's 25 swings with the axe or something, you know? Yeah, I'm wondering if, like, I kill one? If it just, like, yeah, exactly. I mean, my fists seem to do quite a bit of damage, just... No, at this point in the run, we'd have 
this axe, and then we'd have um the EMP gun. Those are like the only two weapons I'm gonna have. Like we could EMP him for sure. Um, I just don't know the exact upgrades. Yeah, the animation. I'm I'm just kind of overdoing it at the moment, so when I go into the fight, just like make sure. But they just both insta die. Here's if we know it works, we can we can optimize it, right? We just gotta we gotta make sure it works. I wanna see the insta death. I don't care if I spend like ten minutes hitting him. I wanna make sure when this cutscene ends, they die. She's not moving when she gets hit anymore. That's weird. Okay, when they stop moving, they might be dead. That might be the indicator. Oh. Alright, let's go see. I mean, that'd be a pretty cool indicator. <laughs> you don't have to sit there and count your, your shots. Increase the speed. I hope this works so much. <laughs> it's maybe like the favorite, like my favorite strat I've ever found. Alright, I think we still have to go through the quick time events and stuff. Let's run as long? No, it has this route routing. The actual run will be much shorter. If you've escalated this situation, situation without even without even trying to resolve it peacefully. Oh, if you put it on half speed, he, like, repeats himself, that's funny. Right, left. Terminate. Yeah, I, this part's scripted. I'm not surprised by this. Uh, I, th I think once it goes into the, uh... Actual fight fight. God, I hope this works so bad. <laughs> Are these quick time? Prompts always the same. Is this Q? Oh, it's space. Was this space last time? Come on. What in the actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machine. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. It works. It works. They killed me. <laughs> I didn't dodge the laser. Oh, I can't believe you can do damage prematurely. That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, and then you just dodge the lasers and you're done. Oh my god. That's great. <laughs> oh my god. Easy game, easy life. Now we gotta do a full run of it.
I mean, I can, but, um... If it teleports you somewhere to start the final cutscene, I mean, I imagine it just puts you there. I don't really want to go through that hassle again. <laughs> I want to do a full run and see what happens. Might need to get some water. <clears throat> Alright, we took out that one split. Uh, no, I did not take it out. Yeah, so Helene. Wait. What? Oh my god. Fucking close the game so I can actually use. Uh, cancel. Life split. Remove segment. Okay. I'm going to launch the game. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I can't believe... I cannot... I also need to disable the trainer. How do I disable the trainer? I think as long as I don't load it, I'm fine. Right? As long as I don't F1. Bring it up. Oh, I've one room. Oh. reload checkpoint. Cool. Alright, let me get some water real quick and we'll try to do a full run and see if I remember how to get through the whole thing. <laughs> There's this run. Oh man, I don't I don't even know. The beginning's the worst part because uh, of the save state. Which, if we can find a stuck glitch to get over to Chelame, it won't be that bad. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like, this is.
Yeah, if you guys weren't here for the like entire eight hour glitch finding session, oh boy. You thought that end was spicy. There's other spicy stuff in here too. God damn, does it feel good to have a game to actually like want to run and like route and break for once? Like, oh, my, I've I've missed this so much. You guys don't even know. <laughs> this this category actually seems like fucking a top tier, top tier run. So it needs a little polish, which will come in time. Um, but I just, I want to see with what I did, one, if I remember all the strats, and two, what a rough time's going to be. Is this looking like a two hour run, two and a half, three? I would be pretty surprised if this doesn't cut the three. I'd say like 230 maybe is a good estimate at the moment. Um, I just want to tweet out again because I'm usually not uh, uh, not live this early. I want to tweet out for people that may not know I'm Lerv. Oh, I got water and also got caffeine because it's probably going to be a long run and I've been up for a long time. So, little prepared. Oh, let me change my title real quick. Cool. Oh, man. I just got to remember the beginning. I, I We might reset a couple times, honestly. Um, depending on how the first out-of-bounds goes. Because there's not a good save for the first out-of-bounds. And that's, like, the most important. Honestly, Vavilov is going to be... I need to rewatch what I did <laughs> for Vavilov. Um... I might. I'm going to give it a shot, and if I get lost or stuck, I might reset and uh, look at my VOD. So I need to get down to the fourth container. Caffeinated water? No, no, no. Caffeine and water. I mean, I do have, like, purely caffeine pills I could put in water, but... That sounds real dumb. <clears throat> okay. Caffeine in water. Whoa. You guys ready for an Atomic Heart all chapter speed run? You're not ready for this. You're not ready for these tricks. I tell you that. I'm going to start off very... Identical to any percent and any percent restricted. But after that, the floodgates are open. We got boss fights. We got actual quest lines. It's crazy, I know. Playing the game? Well, sort of. Oh, did I have dialogue turned off entirely? I might. We turned off music, but did I turn off dialogue? That's yeah, fine. We already heard it too much. Out of bounds, we're running, running away. 
So the category of all, all chapters is kind of an arbitrary one. Um, the game has certain defined levels to an extent, and all chapters means you have to get to the end of all of those levels slash chapters. Uh, as to what the end of those chapters are, it's up to interpretation. These are just the ends that uh, I, so far, have thought were good places for an interesting run. The community might decide there's better places and it will change. Who knows? I might be the only runner of this category. We'll see. But uh, I've had fun with it. Had fun routing it and uh, hopefully this run... Just gets better and better. We got Dommy Mommy Robos, Out of Bounds Shenanigans. We got this wall in my face. Pre hurting Bosch's spoilers. Skipping long walks. Yeah, this is the, like the only time we'll ever do a long walk. The game does not give us the ability to dash or jump this point in time uh, but all we need to do is find a save location which is what we're doing now walking far enough out of bounds that we get out of Chalamet fall down into the overworld look for this bridge this is the part that looks very much like an any percent run, or any percent restricted. Um, because any percent just glitches through the floor to the final part. We're gonna run over to this part of the game, which has a little save hut. So we can save and reload, which is gonna give us the ability to jump again. And then from there, the floodgates are open. So the end part for Chalamet is getting to the cutscene after the car ride which completes the prologue. Which uh, is not the way that we're going. It's actually way up there. Beyond that mountain. That's where we have to go. Chilome is the beginning and the end. It is the city in the sky. Let's see if we turn off the voice line or not. Nope, we didn't. Introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions. Or this game has been out for like a week, and I've already heard this voice line too many times. <laughs> but they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions... Oh, we're gonna get back in bounds. Oh, God. Uh oh. I'm out of... The working class. Almost... American working fucked up. Oh, get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs. And the uh, unfortunately, the annoying part about dialogue in this game is if you save and reload or go in water and come out of water, they restart their dialogue. So, the sanctions so we get to hear this entire message again. So we're going to save, reload, and now we have the ability to jump and do all of this fun stuff. We're going to do what's known as infinite jumping, which with high FPS, we're going for about 240 FPS. We can spam jump and not only gain a lot of height. We can. Oh. My FPS in this section is getting worse and worse. That is precisely why we can gain a lot of speed. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. You're wondering why I'm doing all these pauses as well. Uh, whenever you drop an infinite jump, because you do have to chain them together for it to work, uh, you can restart a new chain by hitting escape and then going again. American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking okay. factory jobs and the capitalists want to get more yeah it might it still might be better to go over to lighthouse and then launch over here except a, a launch is definitely going to be preferred some degree but 
So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots. I just don't have a... They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves. I have a good stuck spot for this. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in... So I find if I want a lot of height, besides doing a stuck launch, which we might do later, um, a really good thing to do is to stop moving entirely and then just jump straight up. That'll make it that much so we're going to climb this mountain. I've got to admit, it makes sense. Like, what? Well, running all the way over here for a save, running all the way back across the water, climbing this mountain, doing all this. Surely this doesn't save time. Well, that's where you'd be wrong. Because doing all of this is a, still about seven minutes faster than going through the entire prologue of the game. It is a very long prologue. All right. Yeah, we don't have to get up here. We have to get up there. So I definitely want to find a uh, stuck launch. Okay, go forward. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing. This is just the beginning. There is so much more. These houses over here, this is the, uh, the village that you go into after the Vavilov complex. Cool get to soon enough okay let me see if I can find my bearings here still kind of new to finding all this stuff okay There are also a lot of death planes um, and kill triggers that if you hit just the wrong spot will insta-kill you. And you have to go all the way from that save we just made back over here. Yo, Flo with the 21 months, thank you so much. In your name in the VOD. Just run out here. Come on, give me the... Give me the cutscene. It's out here somewhere. There it is. For some reason, it's like not a wall across the entire thing. Just there. Did it work? Uh, yeah, we'll see. The beginning's the scariest part. But for now, we get a little, a little cutscene. Woo! I'd grow my crops there, would you? Would you trust them there? The scariest part is from here until the first save in the uh, Babylon complex. So we need to do an out of bounds that I did eight hours ago. <laughs> it wasn't super confident in it then. Um, and if I mess up, what should happen, theoretically, is I just reload from the beginning of the complex when the game tells me it saves. What usually happens is I have to reload from the save I just made, <laughs> which is not a great time. Once we get that, I can make all of the mistakes I want. I don't really care. 
Just uh, don't want to fuck up the first out of bounds. Well, second out of bounds, I guess. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robot. Yeah, let's get this part started. You do have to wait for this to go on. It probably is time to go back and kill those robots for parts and then come back, but I don't know if they actually drop parts yet. I don't think you can start getting loot until uh, the complex. Actually, bunny hops. Well, we got infinite jumps that kind of act like bunny hops if you don't go too high. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! <laughs> hey, you! I'm coming. You alive in there? Shit! Get away! So the stuff we did like in the later parts of testing. There might be a theoretical way to skip this cutscene. That would be completely allowed within the rule set, but I didn't quite look around for map clipping here. Also, there's a lot of death planes that I'm scared of. <laughs> we might come back and, and test it. Uh, but theoretically, we can get under the map and get to where the complex is. Might just be really hard to find, especially if we have to, like, Go from this place is a damn like the sea floor. It'd be like impossible to get the height. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Oh, Anyone should put my FPS on screen. Dead meat. Uh, I could really use a weapon. You got anything? The frame rate fluctuates so fast that you can't even like tell what it's sure. supposed to be. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Put the on screen? I wish. Shit! It's a chilla. It's a chilla. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? It would be really funny if we could get her weapons early. That'd be a nice glitch. <laughs> if they actually exist there. There's probably no way of doing it, but uh, it's also something I didn't even check the... Check for. Where'd you get that thing? Give it to me! Whoa. Holy shit. All right, the part I'm nervous about. I can't get a health thing. Cool. Enough with the lame advice, will you? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd 
they track him down anyway? The Trolls betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stock. All right. Was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, the Trog was sentenced to community service and sent Up we go, out of bounds, forward. The Soviet Union to do his job. Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been fine. Okay. The Trog had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to... I think I'm most worried about is his health. Right. At this point. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. That's where I want to go. Whatever. Hey, I'll just... <sighs> Not what I wanted. Um... Oh, I didn't want to close the game. I want to rage quit. I wanted to uh, go to the main menu and back in. Shit. Well, uh, hopefully, when I click, it might actually be a reset. Also, has my um, capture been off the whole time? Yeah, this is going to take me down to the... Yeah, this this save screen takes me back down to uh, the lighthouse area. Right. Yeah. For whatever reason, I don't. When you go into the Vavilov complex, it tells you. It it saves your game, but it doesn't. Like it just says fuck off. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, so that's the only part that I'm like not super sold on. Let me. Oh, I said I said if I wasn't super sure, I was gonna check my vod. On on the drop down. You can, but the game there assumes that you haven't um, hit like a save thing yet because you're not supposed to have found them. You don't run into your first one until after you get past that part. Okay, this is after the stuff. Yeah. Just trying to see how I drop down to a certain spot here. So the health is kind of a sketchy thing. Okay. I think there is a better way to drop down here. Um, it 
just refining it. Refining it. All right, here we go. All chapters time. I'm going to try a couple of different things at the beginning just because uh, I think it'll work out better. First, we need to get off the map. So we're going to use this nice lady in the park. Push ourselves through the floor. Just like any percent. But uh, instead of just running to the end of the game, we're going to beat all the chapters. How the chapters are defined is a little bit arbitrary and may change over time. But for now, this is kind of how I've defined them. And seeing as I'm the first runner of this category, I kind of get to make the rules. Gonna go out of bound, walk off the edge of the map, and we need to make our way to a save. I think we're gonna try to incorporate uh, a launch here. We're gonna use the lighthouse to launch. Uh, so I'm curious. I think even if we don't get like a great directional launch just purely from a height perspective it'll be worth the effort and then I got a couple ideas on the out of bounds in Vavilov if we get past the first out of bounds in Vavilov which there are multiple if we get past the first one we're good to go for the rest of the run no more resets uh It's a little spooky if no sound. Just a wee a bit spooky. Man, I, <laughs> I was I want to hurry up and rush through this run. I mean, it's a speed run, so I should. But one, I want to see what the time's going to be like when I do put all of this together, and then two, I just want to like have a concrete route and routing ideas to like show the community, like. This is what we're working with now. Okay. So not only are we going to run here, we're going to go from here to the lighthouse and then use the lighthouse to fling way back over to there. <laughs> uh, should be fine. There's probably a much better way to get stuck over here. Um, in fact, that's what like the new 80% restricted does, but it uses a very directional stuck boost. Not a, a height stuck boost. Smacking the twins for 10 minutes in a run. I mean, it won't be 10 minutes with like fully upgraded, not fully upgraded, but an upgraded EMP gun and a somewhat upgraded axe. <clears throat> uh, yes. Well, any percent and any percent restricted have both changed somewhat since I got PBs. Um, any percent now uses a different person, even though different than the one we just used, but she doesn't spawn for me, so it might be a patch thing. Um, and then any percent restricted does the same route and then uses a stock boost to launch towards uh, the thing instead of just running over there. be concerned about their country's security, but they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on. Right? Where am I going? That is precisely why Petrov caused Bad pathing. Right. Got distracted. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions? Yeah, I'm hoping if I can offer <laughs> the community a little bit longer of a category. Maybe a more fun category. We can work on this instead of you mean saving two seconds in any percent. <laughs> Because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all. Quite right. 
The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the so ah, save a load? So we can get our jump back. Like I said, this is going to be unoptimal, and I'm sure there's a much better way to do this, but for now, it's what's going to work. Why do they do that? Do they We're going to go over to the lighthouse, because this is nowhere. This is where I know a boost can be had. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the Just don't want to take the fall damage here. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. Okay. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the save? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more. Okay, a lot of height. That's great. That's what I want. And then we're going to use infinite jumps to turn this height into momentum forward and just fly all the way over here. Set quotas on importing them. So why does this Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans? It's a little hard to tell if I'm dropping infinite jumps or not, but I think we're good now. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they. Oh, this is so much better than climbing up. Oh my God. Our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants their. Be a little careful with the. Robots in the U.S. Not in a death plane. Combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. Jump forward. Neuromed. Probably don't have to be like that careful with it all, but. Cool. Yeah, that was minutes faster <laughs> than climbing up. Oh my god, that's so much better. Yeah, if we could find like a, a faster stuck boost and maybe a more directional stuck boost. Woo! That's fantastic. Let's go. We might be doing it again. My no, last split was like nine something here, right? This mission's open. They're open until the seventh. They're open until the seventh. Nah, I've not done mine. Those. No. I was gonna do mine on Monday. I was kind of waiting to see if this would uh, be a somewhat interesting run with a reasonable time. I have some. Planned, but I gotta actually like, figure out exactly what I want to submit. Shit, my head's killing me. Got a concrete rule set for this category. I, mean, I don't really care about the, the rule set as much as a good run. <laughs> new run on new game is a good submission? You would think so, but like any percent, like, it's such a meme. Especially like, the frame rate uh, dropping and stuff. Wouldn't necessarily make for a entertaining run. Maybe like a bonus run, but one over half of your seven minute long cutscene or seven minute long run is a cutscene. Like it's not it's not great. We are you alright my boy? I'm okay boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Okay, let me see if these robots have anything. Or they just despawn. Oh, they're here. I want to say they don't have anything. I think I've killed them before. Oh, they do. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Probably not worth. Hey, you. I'm coming. Uh. <clears throat> Shit. 
it. Get away from me. Go fuck yourself. You're gawking at. Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no sweat, son. But it's also the thing because it is a new run on a new game. Like, if you submit something like this, you know, Atomic Heart, all chapters. And it's a two hour run now that's fun and interesting. In two months. So what's going on? Who knows what it's going to be? Lots of casualties. You know? I don't know if you noticed, but the road could be a 45 minute run that's just like 30 minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> I could really use a weapon. It may not be fun you anymore. Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Babylon complex? God, I want to get to the end of the game so bad. <laughs> Lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit. All of the strats in this run are like so stupid, but I love them. Move your ass. Thirty seconds until what? Thirty seconds until we're fucked, Sunny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. I've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Okay. So this is the part I'm, I'm most terrified of. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Is there always a health pack in this one? There might. Uh, oh, I got two health packs. Ooh. Are there always two health packs in there? <laughs> I hope so. That would be nice. All right, uh, bounce. Okay. Hey, glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. Whatever. Hey. How did Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. Need the game to load in a level, please. Not in bounds. Okay. Oh, thank you. That on our way back. Okay. Please don't tell me I'm down. Okay. 
Oh, there's so much we got to do. Cause I'm sure there's a better way to drop in here. Um, this is just the way I found. Also, I need my frame rate to come back. <clears throat> so, once I got a run in place, we can come back and optimize it all hell and find better ways to do stuff. Okay. Oh, the framework should be on screen. Thank you. Uh. So before anything, just so I don't have to ever do that part again. <laughs> uh, energy management, get energy. That's free. Get shock. That's free. This this run also skips the horny fridge in its entirety. In case you're wondering. I know you guys are all so worried. Oh, that's good to go. That's what I thought. Hey Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with Oh my god, I can't even jump. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Yeah, so in the Vavilov complex, we are going to get all four canisters still, so we can beat it. We were just doing them in a backwards order. Because it, uh, it's going to get us around a lot of cutscenes that way. Subway tuna. Oh my god. <laughs> the problem with infant jumps is sometimes you just jump too much. Sometimes you just jump too much. So you don't have Okay. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab this chest. <clears throat> Getting stuff early is really nice. I'm still not super sure on my uh, looting priorities. Yeah, sometimes you fly a little too close to the sun. Oh, this is the save I should use, not the other one. Aha! Alright, I'm gonna save all of my upgrades for the EMP. <clears throat> we don't really need combat until then. Smoke break. Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it! What do we do now? It's Crispy freaking critters. Ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette. This one, yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck! It's going ape shit. It's enraged. We gotta run before it. Hang on! Oh, fuck. My leg. My leg. Yeah, we did it. Shit, sprouts, get the fuck up. 
My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No! No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Nah, he did. He a real dead. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. It's mutated. No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap. Get the fuck. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught. Please select the desired protection. Um, probably don't have. Yeah, I got seven. Yeah, whoops. That stuff's. Yeah. Okay. So I want to loot that stuff, but. So there's a trick here that I discovered. Um, I don't know if it's really worth going for more than once. All right, I got it. <laughs> First try, baby. Woo, see ya. Oh, I just realized how I'm doing those wrong. Like an idiot. This is just the beginning. Uh, because we're not supposed to be in this area. This part of the game will unload, or it should. We go back out of bounds. Has nothing wants to load in. <laughs> oh, did it actually just get me stuck? Game, damn you! Oh, I didn't save after clipping through the thing, so I, I don't really care if I mess up too much after getting past the first out of bounds. I do, but I can at least continue the run. Frequent saves from here on out. Damage to <laughs> Alright, it might be worth going for then. It might be worth going for. I should have just saved afterwards like a like a smart person. Does not hurt to save. No. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta go for it until I get it. <sighs> now nah, I gotta do it. Otherwise I'll look like a fool. No! Oh my god. I really should have saved after the first time. You look like a fool. I do. Uh, 
<laughs> I got it the first time and I'll just never get it again. Oh my god. Did I reset yet? See a subway. Reset, 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 reset. I don't really, I don't want to reset. I don't want to do it, but I should. This runs trash. I can't. Oh my god. How did I do it the first time? Made, made it look so easy. so hard it's clearly not a fault of my own because I'm just like a god gamer just like naturally born just the best gamer you've ever seen um so it's not me the problem is I'm just getting too much height off these infinite jumps Infinite jumps giving too much height. Wow, this is just... This is just embarrassing. I honestly might reset. Should have saved after. Oh my god, fuck me. Is this game any good? No, it's complete dog shit. That's why I play it. Should just... Should just never look at it again. Your eyes don't belong on such trash. No, come on. I might honestly reset. <sighs> Grumpy? No, just stressed. I've been streaming for like nine hours, dealing with tons of shenanigans, so I just want to run. That's not stuck in the intro. this ever again. Like, it's just impossible. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take like a five minute break. Try it again in a bit. Uh, I just need to. I just need a break from fucking brain broken chatters and streaming. Be back in like five minutes.
All right. If I don't get that door trick this time, then I'm just going to kill the guy and be smart about it. Uh, should eat a little food. A little food, maybe a little caffeine. Been streaming close to nine hours. Frustrated, stressed. I want to run. Having to reset when I don't even have a PB yet. Like, I get a little snappy. What's your estimate? No idea. I, I would guess two and a half hours, but I, I legitimately have no idea. <clears throat> That's why I want a goddamn time. why I want a time so badly. So let's get set time. Problem with like no resets is if I don't reset and I fuck up the Vavilov complex, it's like another launch all the way over there and then sitting through the cutscene, it's like I might as well reset. You have to go all the way through like the grainy sequence again. Um, that's why it's like so frustrating to do the first part. Because <clears throat> it's really the only one I don't have like a, a safety save for. Um, but hey, let's go. All chapters. Let's see how fast we can beat the game after beating all the chapters. We know how fast we can beat the game. It's under seven minutes because it's a joke. A little bit of a longer category, but not glitchless by any means. I'm going to go out of bounds. Yeah, I think that's why I need it. Need a little food. A little caffeine. A little time away. Push through the floor. All right. Running for our lives. And I do like the stuck launch. We're just going to have to come back at some point and find a better one. Um, I don't care to find one now. We just want splits on the board. Got to set a baseline so we can improve. And it's not even that, it's like, I, I can go and clip out all of the routes individually. I can make videos on all the stuff I found earlier, um, to like give to the community in the Discord and be like, hey, here's all these tricks, all these routes. Um, but at that point, I might as well be doing the entire run. And a lot of context kind of gets lost in those uh, type of videos. You're like, oh, here's my route for... The VDNH ex exhibition, right? It's like, well, how did you get this point set up? How does it, yeah, how does it affect the rest? We'll see. First, we need to fall off the map. We need to fall off the Chelame. Uh, do a little bit of running. Should be. Pretty close to falling off. There we go. Okay. We'll see what kind of angle we get here. We're looking for the bridge. There's the bridge. Uh, this is actually a pretty good path. Ideally, we want to land a little bit further into the left, but this works just fine. I'm going to land, like, right in this little crevice of this rock. <laughs> Which is a super... Un uh, actually, if I... Yeah, I go left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Okay. We'll take that. You will absolutely take it. Alright, 
Let's go walk to our safe hut. And prepare for glory. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any... Ah, uh, yes. That means they don't really have... A this dialogue. Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. There's a lot of rocks over here I can probably get stuck on instead of going over to the lighthouse. Um, between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American mm. stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs and the capitalists. The lighthouse has the advantage of boosting us further though in that direction. Uh is feeling pressure. We're going to the lighthouse. So the sanctions remain Alright, make a save, I load it so we get our jump ability back, which allows us to have infinite jumps with high FPS. Okay. Against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The US government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That, that works. Why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. All right. Let's see if we can get a know that. So what are the sanctions for? Mm. Nah. It's a little two-part trick. We're going to use a stuck boost, which is getting stuck, building up speed and then launching out of it. To gain a lot of height, maybe some distance, and then infinite jumps to get us to their job to be concerned about their the end of Chalamet. Chalamet. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Mm, any more height. Um constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely yeah, I think I'm infinite jumping. I think I might have dropped one. wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> sanctions for. Dropped another. Using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers. Infinite jump is just high FPS and jumping. The American government is feeling That's it. pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones... Um, I keep trying to avoid fall damage here, but I think I should just embrace it and just take the fall. It's not going to kill me here. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots oh. will be located in key parts of the oh. American government. There is a box here that I cannot get out of. The government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible. Okay. When they activate. I just can't, I can't, I can never get another infinite jump chain started once I get in this spot. I got it. Avoid fall damage. All right, That's whatever. Sense. Yeah, that was a sloppy, <sighs> sloppy intro. So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's got to be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone, but she's got something important. I love how the dialogue's playing over it. It's funny. <laughs> I didn't realize this last time if this was happening. But now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock and the Boston Youth bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really Getting spoilers off the rip. No data, huh? 
Well, I don't have any data either, so let's go get some. Charles doesn't care. Well, he don't care. He just doesn't care. Can't really blame him, you know. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay. Excuse me. Come in through. Nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor. Nah, I'm not going to go back and loot him. I don't care that much. <laughs> it's like one regular robot's worth of loot. That ain't worth. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. It would be really funny if you could just pick up uh, Granny's weapons there. Uh. Hey, you! I'm coming. You alive in there? Shit! Get away! Yeah, things to look into for sure uh, is a better stuck launch to get over here faster, and then. Um, Going out of bounds to get to the uh, Favilov complex early, which theoretically is 100% a thing. Um, it's just whether it's worthwhile or not. Because we can go under the map, we can infinite jump over here, infinite jump climb. Give me your hand. I didn't see that coming. But any spot to go under the map that we're currently aware of is really far away. It's a damn mad house. Uh, uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no sweat, son. I don't think it'd be worth the what are you doing here anyway? time. Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Uh, of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's... Basically safe. I miss having the 4x speed. It's a chilla. <laughs> it's a chilla. We've got 30 seconds. Move your arse. 30 seconds until what? <sighs> 30 <sighs> seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. <laughs> I've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to me. You hang on to that key. I got this.
All right, the most stressful out of bounds we got. Once I get a time down, I want to come back for this 100%, like, find a way to get directly to uh, the room where I clip in instead of doing it in, like, steps. I just didn't bother to find a route through here. Because the save point makes it real annoying. All right, we got uh, health packs in here. Oh, yeah, that might always have two health packs. It does? That's awesome. If loot's actually consistent, that's really awesome. Oh, it's fine. Thomas, comrade major. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. All right. <sighs> That's where I want to be. It sure is. Okay. Touch the ground. See, this is where health is super scary. Oh, okay. I didn't die. Woo. The save point. Uh, I probably could <clears throat> leave getting this stuff for a later time, but I might as well just go ahead and buy it. Shock and energy. And we'll leave. Okay. Loot that on the way here, <laughs> so I don't have to loot it later. Hey Charles, this sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, <clears throat> Spin it to win it. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that trick that I was stuck on before. I feel like it, you know if I'm doing this run to showcase this route and everything, I gotta showcase everything I found, even if it takes a while. Is there a loot thing in here? No. Okay. Like, if I'm going to showcase the run, I'm going to showcase the run, you know? What? I did not grab that. Jumping <laughs> is crazy. 
You get too much speed. Does that stop spinning if you go in that room? Maybe. Maybe it was still spinning, it's just that slow. I don't know. I don't know. It would be nice if we get the canister without having to do this part. There might be a way. I didn't mess around too much with uh, okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it. Shit. trying to find a canister early. This game seems to guard the interactable things you have to pick up pretty well. Uh, the canisters here, the body parts, and the exhibition later on. Throw down gifted sub or a prime sub if I get this first try. We always get these first try. Oh, I didn't get a first try. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Yeah, you gotta have like not a lot of height and a lot of speed. Oh, if I didn't get that extra little bounce at the end, would have been second try. Yeah, this is a little bit tougher than I originally originally thought. No, I think if I crouch, I actually get that. <clears throat> so it's probably not worthwhile to do this more than like a couple of times, but ultimately you'd want to get good at it. You can fight the guy here, but uh, it's got a decent amount of health, and you basically are just stuck with the axe and shock. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. Caffeine's starting to take effect. Nope, hell no. <laughs> that was the worst one yet. Uh-oh, going delusional. I'm getting a little delusional. 
I seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs. The path to scientific achievement. Ah, <sighs> there weren't like ten of these monsters in the hallway. Might be a little bit easier to stay close to the grounds. <laughs> it also like you know relies on you actually getting infinite jumps and not just jumping like a like an idiot. Well, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs. The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. No what? Uh what? No shot. I didn't make that. Wow, this is actually a lot tighter than I thought it was. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs. The path to scientific The only way to is to do nothing. Oh my god. Get out of the way so I can boost properly. Please. No, fuck me. Should just kill him. Should just kill him. I didn't want to. I want to show off the trick. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant. Still on the skip? Nah, I man. I left to get food and then restarted a run. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I see. I was just waiting for you to come back. Alright, and save for sure after that. Okay. That's gonna need some refinement. Oop. I sure love these but, goddamn cans. Like I said, you know. You guys never get sick of so I wanna show everything off. We're about a good time later. Okay. What do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. Crispy critters. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. Okay. The age-old trick of... Jump up enough, you unload the room, fall in before it loads. The classic. have to buy a shock at this point. Okay, let me go kill destroyed dude. Let's make sure there's good parts.
So because we don't have range, one thing I could do is uh, infinite jump up to these guys to kill them. I'm just like too lazy to really care. It's also really hard to hit them with melee. You can like pull their aggression off of it though, which is interesting. You said milky. I did. Materials to get, uh, you get ner- Ooh, it is kind of worth taking those out then. I need a rebind scan. I'm pretty sure it's a time thing. I don't, I don't know about this one for sure. I know the, the one in the theater is 100% timed. It tells you it's timed. And there's usually like tons of stuff left, uh, left alive when you finish this, so. I do wonder if I take out all the, the things, though, if it stops it early. Like, another spawn, then there's not really a thing. So there's definitely some testing to be done. It might be that if you go around and destroy all the nests and none of them spawn, it's like, oh, okay, there's just no enemies. It's over. This is my routing I wasn't super, uh, super worried about this kind of thing. Not yet. It's like a, a part two. It's a reroute. I'll do it. This part does last forever, though. Everything's up. I do like how I turned off music, but music still plays in the background. It's great. <laughs> like, it just doesn't matter. I have radio and music turned off, and it still plays. It just doesn't care. It just don't care. I mean, I like the music. I really like the music, but it just every bit of the music gets claimed on YouTube. And it's like I, I'm tired of it. Yeah, I'm tired of every Atomic Heart video I put up having like 20 claims. <laughs> I decided to use some classical piece. It's a little bit annoying. Surely we're near the end of this, right? Right? 
Sure thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Claim your own video? I mean, that still gets claimed. Ideally, when this is done, I want to be next to it, um, like ready to go. I don't want to be across the room. Oh, we're good. Canister, woo! Although it does require a certain amount of careful tending. Okay. So every other day you got oh, I should have bought uh, mass talking there. That's where I bought it before you yeah, have for these guys. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna hold off on everything and just kill these individually for now. If possible, I want to hold off on upgrading um, stuff and do it all at the same time. Not at the moment. It, you know, it's not the thing that matters right now, but I need to start, like, thinking in that mindset. Um, and I want to save my upgrades here until I... Go get the EMP gun. So just because I'm not 100% sure, I don't want to kill those robots again. Let's save. Yeah, you know, being a little careful. And so now we have two of the four canisters that we need. Uh, we have the last two that we need. Uh, but we're still not supposed to be in this area. So the map will still unload when we go over here. And now we need to gain access to the other side. Um, but I also want to get the EMP gun because the EMP gun is super cool. It's super nifty and there's a lot of lootable stuff. Um, we're going to do. We're going to find this area, jump up high enough to unload the room. We're gonna fall in before it loads in. Or we're just going to go too far and clip through everything. <laughs> so there's not a perfect science this. Okay, I came up through the bottom. Sure. <laughs> Same effect. Uh, sure. EMP gun and this little canister thingy. This is not one of the four canisters we need. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. 
This is cool. For real. Now. Well, like the horny fridge cutscene. It's not in this route. That's what I meant by that. Well, just do your best, okay? We want to look for the MP generator. Oh, yeah, we actually we haven't unlocked the MP generator. Ew, right. Okay. Charles, what does Petrov need to repair? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? So it may not be worth getting my upgrades there. Uh, I don't know. You can actually grab this canister from out of bounds. It's not really worthwhile to do so. You have to come this way if you go for the MP gun. Which, honestly, if we can deal with the bosses a different way, it may not be worthwhile to go for that. The MP gun is great and I love it, but... More combat we can skip, though. Obviously, the last canister has to be lodged deep in the universe. Quantum asshole. Is this stuff else we're gonna need that? Okay. I've got another one. Uh, yeah, I need to come back here and uh, I don't know. So, we're using Sarab because I want the MP gun. Um. I'm going to take some time to loot some extra stuff. Is there a chest back here? Oh, there's a chest back here. Oh god. <laughs> Get me out of this madhouse. Did that only give me neuropolymer? Wait, what? What? <laughs> really? That seems not right. Going for resources at the moment. Um, in the future, we might skip this. I just chests are really good for loot, especially like decent tier loot. Um, and there's a lot of chests in this area, so like energy modules and stuff um, are really, really useful. Because I think you need five of those for the EMP generator, which is fucking such a great upgrade. Jump, 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 frame rate, jump. I know you're here, Patron. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Yeah, I might need to put some splits in here. 
I was just gonna go on splits for all of the chapters, but you know. Like Vavilov complex being so long, I might need some sub splits. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? Oh god. Where'd my ball go? Oh, there's. Crispy critters. Crispy critters. Oh, this is where the MP generator is. Right? Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings. Yeah. Uh I might have enough. No, I have four. Yeah, I really want to have five um of those things. Yeah, so I might need to loot some more of those chests. So I have to be uh, very smart and not dumb and not give away the ca the two canisters I've picked up so far because it will like soft lock if I once I open up the ability to put canisters in. Uh, it's like, oh, you've put in the last two, you should be able to leave and not open up the first area. Fifteen hours gone. Ooh, that is a rough. That is a rough ordeal. I kind of like that way of solving those puzzles, those little snap puzzles. I'm sure that's like a mathematical best way to do those every time. So do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the time thing from here. We're just open. <clears throat> so once you put in the two orb things, these canister things open. Um, and if you put in the two I have, then it wants to open this, but it can't because it doesn't have all four, and this won't open. Because uh, it thinks I'm beyond that part. Me time for the run? I'd say two and a half, but I really have no idea. I don't, I don't know if you have to be a certain distance away from it for it to work or not. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm in the hot shot. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? I'm gonna turn into a crispy critter. Am I the crispy critter? <gasps> oh my god, I am. this way.
close the chest in here. Gotta remember. <clears throat> And by you, you mean chat, right? I know you don't mean me. Balls in the tubes. Oh my god, fuck off. <laughs> that kind of works. I didn't even thought about that before. <clears throat> Just trying to like jump straight up and you're just bouncing all over the place. Alright. I gotta remember on the next one to actually go and put the canister into the thing first. Uh, might be worthwhile to disassemble there. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect there's bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by spirits. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting freaking critters? This <gasps> He said a different thing. Oh, I'm am I stuck here? Okay, thank god. I never went back and clipped the one time I had like legit. I just turned it once and it was solved. I forgot to do that. I don't even know where that is in a VOD anymore. <laughs> uh, Crispy Critters is apparently just like a weird translation thing. From what people were telling me during my casual playthrough. You having a giggle, mate? Have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb to the window. Yo, can I jump over here? Thank you. These canisters are used with oh my god, he almost actually kicks me off. Oh my god, I'm so bad at, like, continuing the jumps. <clears throat> like, can I jump? Hello? Jump? Oh 
my, like, is my frame rate just dog shit? I can't even see my frame rate at the moment. It's just like blending in. Under, how is it? Yeah, that would explain it then. <clears throat> so, for the most part, my frame rate's fine, but every now and then it's just like really bad. There's like a couple areas that just tank it. I saw I got good on the 130 there. Uh oh. Uh, it's also like all the robots and stuff moving around. Um, yeah, if I just like look at the ceiling, I'm sure I'm, I'll be fine. It's it's hard to like pay attention to that and also do the boost and not die. Sub one hour, Vavilov. I mean, the run like speeds up drastically after this point. So. You can collect the canister now. Oh. It's not even like a strat. Just drop down. Okay. I wonder if I could get over that, um, with Bennett Foddy. Woo! Alright. It's like 50 minutes. Uh, it's like, if we can cut out some of the fighting or optimize the fighting later on, and like really figure out the loot we want to get, the loot that we well, loot that we need, the loot that we want to get, and the route through it, have a better clip, like we can, we can definitely save a lot of time through there. Of circumstances. No footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered. 
Even though the ladders are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't half- Oh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> we never went to the lab in, uh, Chelame, but we still get scanned regardless at some point. Maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample of something, like a dangerous strain. Don't know why. L vision. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Uh, there are. There's a kind of a neutral-ish ending and like a bad ending. I'm making a drawing, I know. I'm such a bad streamer. We need to go to Lesnaya Station. Isn't there a loot thing here? We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Oh my god, this thing I haven't seen. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent to okay, I'm gonna use that thing as a good icon or like a beacon. Is this the way I need to go? If I end up on camera, if you're detected, yes, I think so. Level one alarm. All nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the hawk will deploy additional. Uh, oh my god! I feel like my framerate was like so good, like, so good this morning. I feel like the the more hours I put into this game, the worse my framerate gets. And I am just like having it open. I just mean like in general. <laughs> I play for five hours, close it, and then like reopen it the next day. I'll just have like worse framerate. <laughs> Like, just let me boost. Give me infinite jobs. Give me infinite jobs. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, fuck off. Give me infinite jobs, please. Wee. Go. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, we found the station. And the train is right there. What we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. <laughs> okay, I think this is one, two, one. Now we can leave. Yep. We'll get my train ticket. What am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victim. Shit. Do I have to? Uh, the problem is I don't want to like look up in the sky because one, it's hard to tell if I'm even getting a jump, and then two, it's like uh, hard to tell where I'm going. But I might have to. God damn, I gotta figure out the frame rate. It's 
the only thing stopping this from being like a great, great run. Did I enjoy this game? Yes. I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't enjoy it. Oh my god. Why is my frame rate here so bad right now? I don't understand. Frame rate, please. Frame rate, please. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't finish the conversation. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Charles. Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? Already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Commander but what do you need to get to the bottom of it? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed. That is unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. <gasps> Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Ohio simulator. There's trains derailing all over the fucking place. Seems like every other day there's a new train derailment. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did station off say? Oh. Yeah, I thought trains were supposed to be safe. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. Okay. Uh, Comrade Sechenov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, fair enough. Uh, Anything uh, else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come uh, here. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh, slippery little bitch! <laughs> thing okay I, yeah i need some base <laughs> shot upgrades <laughs> i see now still know all the ways to make it attack
Whoa. This part is definitely much better with music. Keep jumping when I should just like dash out of stuff. Oh my god, I can't even see him. <gasps> Active healing, what's that? Oh, this guy's so dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> uh, rip. Yeah, I, I had thought about it earlier um, to go and upgrade before this fight, but. Yo, hey, most sticks for 35. Yeah, okay. I thought just upgrading EMP generator would be enough, but I think I need some base shot damage too. Alright. You know, we're, we're still getting a little routing in. A little route action. Come on. So, what will it be, mate? That's increased damage. I don't know. Uh, I need damage, really. I don't need expenditure. Yeah, I shouldn't have upgraded the... the axe at all. That's what I'm realizing. <clears throat> Upgrade the axe later. Uh, this frame rate's really driving me crazy. I'm not in the mood for it. That's what I thought it did. <clears throat> yeah, the MP generator doesn't work on this one. Not like that, at least. Grids. For sure. Oh my god, just fucking uh just fucking jump, dude. Like locked. What else is new? Charles? Open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it.
don't understand its attack patterns. Oh, and <laughs> well, that always just like jumps right on your head. Like, yep, that's cool. If only I used the abilities that I bought. Like a smart person. On that. <laughs> so predictive. I feel like these things should just stay up once you've hit, shocked them. Like, I, don't, I hate the time limit on it. It's so dumb. Yeah, I, just, I need to put a little bit of stuff into the base damage of the gun. Honestly, I'm, I'm still not entirely sure that uh, Hedges can be considered, like, part of the chapter here. Like, I feel like VDMH Outdoor is not even, like, an actual chapter. Kind of like how Limbo's not an actual chapter. Oh my god, give me a fucking jump, please. <laughs> Will be held on Monday. The infinite jumps drive me crazy. Uh, I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your okay. turns out to be justified. It it's will. fine. I won't let Dr. Section off down again. Didn't take fall damage. I don't have health packs, so that's why I'm worried. Okay. This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. So you can just jump down, but I was trying to find a way I could drop down. Uh... And get back up on the thing as fast as possible. Whoops. Oh, polymer's awful. <clears throat> so where's the fairy oh, I've also should have seen if I had uh, health things. I usually check on the next part, but... Uh, health, 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 health. Team look like. The special neuron connectors have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter beta on them, but the beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototype health, health, health. connectors with discretionary mm, health. Beta cool. connectors. <laughs> There were only two of them. Uh, them to I don't know where my next save is. What happened to him? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Oh, my, my, okay, saves here. I'm fine. Communication is restored. Authorization. Major Nichayev. So I really only need the extra damage on the base shot for for Hedgy. The other ones I'd never like shoot the gun. It's just all EMP stuff. Um hmm. Yeah, I gotta figure out the upgrade path for sure. Access 
Access granted. How many of these things do I have at the moment? 139. Had a, had a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Yeah, I don't like this puzzle. I've always hated these, like, tilt puzzles. IRL and in video games. They just suck because once you make one mistake, when you go to try to fix it, you just make it worse. How do you rotate me? Uh, well, you wait until I lay down in bed, then you get a really big spatula. Ooh, actually, like, the best I've ever done that. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Be really well guarded. Who's watching, Argentum? Entrusting him with the connector would be far too Yeah, I think we have to go down and do this thing first. Like, we have to... Interact with the body before it opens up the doors. Speeder on Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Mm. Yeah, we're ready for that. Right. Installing the head. Double two seven nine nine one zero zero eight. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you, dear comrade. Please be careful. All right, I overest <laughs> overestimated my abilities here. Fuck me. Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the. This place used to be really nice until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Fuck yeah. Why can't all my puzzles be like that, huh? Sad part is they probably all are like one or two moves away from being good. I just like overcomplicate it. Also, uh, Mass Telkinesis, how much is drop? 70. Ooh. Yeah, I should have gotten that instead of energy. Who? What are you even talking about? You can, like, Cut through this little corner, it's just like very likely you get stuck. So I'm not going for it. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. We have reached the facility service rooms, Major. I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in many Oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Where's where's the loot? This stuff clipped through the wall? Oh, this is it? No. Oh. Stuff actually just clipped through the wall. What the fuck? Where is that? At? 
There's also only one robot here? I thought there were always two. Well, what do we have here? Weird. I thought there was guaranteed two robots here. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind. Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. All right, and then we go upstairs. Yeah, in that corner. Yep, okay. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning Oh my god, get out. <laughs> get out of my way. ...to launch Collective. That's possible, right? New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. I hate these on a speed run. Uh, da 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 da. There's a big fucking thing in here. How do you like that, gearhead? I unfortunately still have to. Rebind my keys for this part. That's the only thing I can't get around. What am I supposed to do with this? What is this? A kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Please don't tell me that thing respawns gonna kick me off of this. Okay. Fuck off. I might not even do that, it's annoying I'm to rebound my keys. Just run away from you. Yeah, uh, this is one. Heal. I got so many more uh, upgrades here last time. Uh, the fact that these count as enemies for the door to open is so stupid. Oh my god, I can't get a fucking jump to save my life. Come on, infinite jump. Thank you. God, why? Why do you count towards the door opening? <laughs> Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. Cardio New scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Left. Found. 
location, Pablo Flor. Uh, you... That's still plenty of stuff to figure out. I just wanted to make sure all the Terrible. actual routing stuff worked. Warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting. What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You should be dead. Come here. Authorization, Major Nichayev. What? Oh my God! Who the fuck are you? Oh my god, there's another one? Fuck. Out of here. Where's your fucking button? Yeah, can I can I do the thing yet? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, what will it be, Major? Oh my god. I'm also just tired. I'm streaming for a while. Uh yeah, I need to buy this a little long time ago. Will it be 113 damage to organics? Uh, I'd just save up for that, honestly. Um, I'm not, I'm not super sold on. On my upgrades and shit. Get out of the way, dude. You don't matter. Move. <laughs> wow. A lock. Didn't see that coming. What's that crack in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called douche. Or ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why is it just lying in a corner somewhere? Blah, blah. I had dodge. Almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come. Makes our enemies so tanky. I mean, I'm using like the default weapon. <laughs> Finally, I got all her parts. Like no upgrades to. Uh, I need to see. What do I have in storage? Uh, because I definitely could have sold other stuff already. I keep forgetting that this is simple stuff. Uh, 
legitimately could have uh, upgraded this. That would have been really smart to do. Um, like, really smart. God damn, if only I was smart. Be great. I didn't mean to pick this up. <laughs> My bad. Over here, you little fucker. I don't know, this is Jester. The, the robots in black always have a superconductor, at least. That's nice to get. Smart to pick up. Well. Eventually refine the route to know exactly what to pick up, like what to kill. I just don't care to do that right now. <laughs> I want to make sure all the out of bounds works, make sure we can finish the run. Get a time. And why they need the beta connectors? To secure collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might- Here's your leg, do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. I agree. It is a very useful function. Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Thank you, comrade. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. You're making me better, comrade. Woo! All her body parts assembled. What now? Self repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you. Uh, only an hour and a half. And I mean, two a, two and a half hours is not a bad estimate. Please confirm that launch code sequence is now. Second launch code sequence generated. But also, this has been far from clean. H mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. We just get a little break for a bit. Please, comrade. Mark. Oh, man. Thank you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. Coffee break. It's pink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Comrade Sechenov. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. <gasps> but first, I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilievich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilo complex. By your order. You are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. The upcoming launch <clears throat> of the collective neural network will be canceled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I I'm already at the point where I've kind of like flushed all uh, the basic lore out of my head. This felt it was speed of knowledge. Comrade Molotov, may I yeah. have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. 
Mikael, meet me at the landing pad. Split for just this cutscene, yeah. Right away, <laughs> sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. <laughs> this is where it gets into like a tricky situation. Um with all chapters is what do you actually consider to be the end of the chapter here because if it's what I did where I split like repairing the robot and getting the cutscene once you're in limbo you can technically leave any way you want so we could go out um a very different way than this you know And not watch the second part of the cutscene. Okay, I gotta figure out my fucking frame rate thing. Like it was not this bad earlier. Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh why? Why is my frame rate so shit? That's why I don't want it to be cool. B3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov. The government commission, they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? But it also seems like this game has some issues with you leaving Limbo <laughs> uh, in ways you're not supposed to in terms of returning you back to your player state, as we discovered in routing. Uh, and you can just stay fluffy forever. We don't have a lot of options here, right? Handle it. Mikhail. Which could be very problematic for finishing a run. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Kind of just can't end the game in Fluffy. Left, helper. Yeah, I never got to see if in the cutscenes you're Fluffy or not. What are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is too much. It's too much for all of us, this terrible incident. Yeah, I mean, that's what you would think, but I think it has to also be, like, the appropriate limbo. Like, if you enter limbo one and leave limbo two, seems to be what broke it. So what happened before we entered limbo three, but we exited limbo two? It might also be the case of if you've used an exit before and you use it again, it doesn't give it to you, right? It's like a one-time use situation. Oh my god. With limbo number five. Oh my god. Love unskippable cutscenes. Woo! I mean, without like how easy this game seems to be to mod, I want it be opposed to having like a cutscene speed up mod. Um, so we're gonna use the trainer to like speed it up times four, which seems like a pretty healthy amount. We can just like make that like a mod for the stuff. Uh, about kinky robots. What? I mean, it just makes me think of any Black Mirror episode. Uh, 
Talking about anime again, Proto. That's the one, the anime? Oh my god. Er my gird, Ernamar. Er my gird. No, it's completely necessary. Are you kidding me? Jello man. No, it's jelly man. I think the only possible pain point, other than doing the crazy out of bounds stuff that we have to do, is getting into the theater uh, past the whatever it's called, the big daddy thingy. Belash. Was that a tribute to the departed? Conversational. We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the Although last time I'd seem to have more that? like med packs. Who could have done it? You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. <gasps> it was his body. How's that possible? Philatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Philatova's caliber, then any Dr. Philatova. Have you traced the signal? The dwarf is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Dr. Falafel. Falafel-laffel-level? Uh, to my knowledge, no. People, like, want it a longer category, but a lot of those just kind of did a glitchless, and some of them that are interested in all chapters can't do it because they don't have access to infinite jumping because of, uh, like, it's, a, like, a Steam-only thing at the moment because Steam's, like, a patch ahead. So, like, Game Pass version doesn't have it. Um, it just doesn't work. And if you're on console, it won't work because of frame rate as well. But, uh, this might inspire some people to pick it up. Most people have been messing with any percent or any percent restricted. Uh, or just, like, kind of routing stuff in without infinite jumps. So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the Ballerina Twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it... Uh, it's... Like, it always remains near him as an additional it's like die at any percent. It's uh, the record's like nine minutes instead of six minutes. It's like the old any percent. It just doesn't clip straight through the floor to uh, the cutscene. It's really dumb. You're telling me that jelly man can sneak up behind someone. That jelly man. Without leaving a trace. It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances. And without witnesses, after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. I don't know, I get stuck spot. Alright, let's go up to one of these rocks then. Any percent is six minutes and like 20 seconds, like 6.30-ish. Any percent restricted, which is 
the only thing that gets restricted is the use of uh, frame rate related tricks, so infinite jumps and um, lowering your FPS to just drop through the floor or bands. But it's it's just still super super short. Okay, I don't remember where my stuck launch was here. I, I don't want to climb up this. So one thing I, I need to nail down is just where to get stuck launches at. Because uh, climbing with infinite jumping is just not it. Uh, you don't go to the elevator anymore. So, Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out the frame rate stuff before I do another run of this. Like. Yeah, I kind of forgot this cutscene existed Look what too. We have here. Uh. Hmm. You killed him. That's enough, Victor. I have an idea to skip this part. We might be even be able to skip the Belliash fight too. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows. There might be a way to get under the map by the theater and just clip straight into it. Wrong, it's wrong. I don't agree. I didn't really look into it before. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you. So it's right on the water. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa. He's an animal. He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to. Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan. I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick and painless. So Sechenov's talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us. <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's 000? not Victor's fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction. Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. <gasps> the robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? Wah, 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 wah. Victor? You said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. <sighs> How could you? Huh? I, you said it yourself. The whole world might end.
<gasps> no, don't touch me. <gasps> How's the run going? Uh, it's sloppy, but it's getting there. Did you? A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Oh. Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. Look at B. <laughs> the split from VD and H to now is 20 minutes. And in the 20 minutes, we did limbo section one and then running to the hospital. And the rest is cutscene. That's pretty gross. P3 to That's actually pretty gross. Strav. Got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man to Chayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collector. Find the criminal. Now. I get some med packs, maybe. On the wizard's ire, comrade major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? Charles, how could that trick Petrov send intel to the west? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. Sick. That is why he's attempting to deceive collective central control. Sick fall damage, my dude. Talking about that big ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov somewhere? Already free, Major? Yeah, I have no med kits for uh, for this fight. That is gross. Real soon too. It makes them right. How how expensive is it to make med kits? Mm. Oh, these are super cheap to make. Oh, you have to make them one at a time? Really? Wait, can you make... Can you make more than one at a time? Oh. Aha. <laughs> okay, yeah, these are super cheap to make. I don't even remember where I picked up the, the crafting thing for it. Okay. Cool. I am... So smart. Who needs cars when you can fly like an eagle? Wee! If I can get my jumps. I guess I can always make my kids down here. I just want to make a save because there's not a save point down here. Oh my god, I can't get any fucking jumps. We I mean there probably is one closer, but I wanna like infinite jump as soon as possible. Authorization. Oh, I mean I really shouldn't die here. You know. I want the uh, left heavyweight enemies. Ah, that's way too expensive. Ain't, ain't getting that. Um, just don't die. I mean, that's the that's the dream. Ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully on, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater. As long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes, Vlad. I can't wait to pay that thing back in the
hate that attack. to attack. Oh, I did it again there. Use the thing. Use the thing. fire gonna go out? <laughs> I want to loot this body. <laughs> I don't want to die to the fire after the fight's done. Okay. I might be dumb, but I'm not stupid. track Patrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Patrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scum fuck is hiding away. You might be able to. I didn't really test it beforehand. Like, theoretically, you can. It just depends on... Uh... Where you can clip out to get underneath the map. Probably something I'll try to look into tomorrow. Your cue, comrade major. Like the boss fight, I don't even mind. It's more so I want to get around that cutscene in the hospital. <laughs> I mean, you can in the water, but like, like how far do you have to go out? And then finding the spot that you actually need to get to is really hard. Like trying to find this spot underneath the map is really difficult. So if you have to get out of the map really far away, it becomes even more difficult to find out where this is. Mm. Like, when we go to uh, the academy, we go out of the map, like, we go out out of bounds and drop down, but it took me a long time to figure out exactly where I need to go. Not today. Climb, climb, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate. I, I don't know why my frame rate's so bad. <laughs> it was like so fine earlier. Hello? Jump. Oh my god. I want to die. <laughs> It's frame rate. My frame rate's just fucking tanking all of a sudden. No, it was fine when I was doing stuff before. Uh, don't think so. Nope. Got my normal stuff on. Charles. Yes. Fading data. Please select the desired procedure. Oh, it's fully upgraded. Um, energy bonus. I might actually need that. Sure. So I think at this point the axe kind of takes over. I don't know. I'm making shit up.
I mean, if we can get here out of bounds, then we could skip this part too. If we just go into like the theater fight with Natasha. Would be another good time save. This part is on a four and a half, five minute timer. It's nice for like, getting supplies and stuff, but... We don't really need the supplies at this point. We're not gonna fight Natasha. Uh, we're not gonna fight the boss before the academy. And as we found out, we don't actually have to fight the twins, which is what I was kind of using these resources for. Well, yeah, you, we have to attack the twins, but we're just not like a uh... You guys know what I mean. Sub two goal. Um, I mean, I think if I actually knew what I was doing, probably decent. On this run, uh, it could happen. to give the sub uh maybe Uh, depends on how fast I can do Academy. Still not sold. I can actually do that, like, first try.
so bad. <clears throat> Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Uh, that really spot me. Fuck off. Yeah, this cutscene takes a while too. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over. There you are, always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She, she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's dead. But what about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. See, theater's a, kind of a hard one to pin down, like, what actually counts as the end of theater. He wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid- I mean, if we, like, couldn't- Skip the Natasha fight, I'd say it's, you know, this cutscene plus Natasha and, like, putting the head in the jar. So we can skip that, like, is getting the elevator open work? It's what I've, like, been going off of, but I have come here from out of bounds. Kind of raises a different question. Worse than this, and he has to be stopped. Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. <sighs> Curtain. <laughs> no! Shit! No, no! God fucking damn it. Oh my god. What do we do now? Fuck me, you clown. Oh, you're definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Like, why is my frame rate so fucking bad? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I just I can't keep an infant jump going at all. Like, come on, please. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Uh. 
Like, I, I could definitely see the argument being made to, like, putting his head in the jar, um, should be the end of that. I kind of, I kind of agree. As long as you get in there and you put his head in the jar, and then leave. So we get here from out of bounds. But that probably should be, like, the qualifying end point of that. So we, this might get scrapped. Wanted to be Major, figure it out. <clears throat> waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Falatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with beta 1 and beta 2 engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? So I feel like the best way to kind of approach like what the ending should be is just like the last like what is the ultimate goal of theater and the, like the goal is to collect his head or that or like you know VD and H exhibition the ultimate goal is to repair the drone oh my god I'm so I'm so frustrated with my goddamn frame rate dude like I it was not this bad earlier. Does the game have like a memory leak? Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the pub. Like it just everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. But like I played it for eight hours and then I like I've closed it multiple times since then. Positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No, Falatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? During. Let's like, go, please. <laughs> no, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. It's just so frustrating. That I've, I've had like no issue and I try to actually do a run and just. Long time no see. It's be problematic. Definitely had better days, but yeah. Oh, and that Did I hear right? has Did collision. Of course it does. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some... Jump, for the love of God, jump. Oh, my God. For a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way... Uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov. Thank you. No, I didn't. Ah, uh. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Now I've used all my med kits. Yep. Cool. 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 Why have you deceived? Oh, I gotta definitely look into that. It's, it's just <sighs> so frustrating. Where the fuck am I going? There we go. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said right. combat mode was Run through it into pretty casually up until the out of bounds point. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed uh. himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? How long complex is pretty short. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where did it get him? Huh? It's a construction robot. The trough couldn't have. Oh, we're ready to this one fight sequence. Um. Select the desired. Sure. I don't like never considered making ammo before, or not ammo, but uh, health kits.
I feel like my combat was much better in the routing phase. I feel like I even picked up more this time around, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> Entirely sure. Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be um no? Yes, they could do it, no problem. I don't think the puzzles change at all. I mean, like, the color ones are, are random. But I don't think they get harder on harder difficulties. What a shame. The world just recovered from the war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight for regular... Leave me alone, leave me alone. Civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. Three puzzle lock? Uh... I don't think so. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from collective? What did it break me out of it? Fuck some off. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from- I don't think there's like a true three puzzle lock thing in the game. Get off me. I'm, I'm so tired. To be honest. When I get tired, like, my patience just goes out the window. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You a little bit out of the stream. Oh yeah, I'm- I'm- whew. Between frame rate and being sleepy, that's uh, ready for bed. To put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. That thing sounds really close to me. I don't think it is. I don't think it's anywhere near me. Um, okay. Another save. Alright, time for an out of bounds. Ow. Gotta remember how to do this. So we go up, then we go over here. We don't go back in bounds like an idiot. Move. I miss all the things from the trainer. Uh, <laughs> having the saved position was real nice. Come over here and see literally the end. Can I get some four moments in here. That's big fucking critters. The end. Ah, oh, not the end of the game, it's just the end.
I never expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. <laughs> but Victor made too many bad calls. No, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, sub 230 is not happening. I know mean, sub 245 is happening. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. Sub three should be free though. It might be like a two fifty two fifty two. Two fifty two fifty two. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state once the simulation. He's already dead, complete. you creep. Keep your hands off him. Grenade. Granada. Kulada. <gasps> He's got those milky eyes. Slept in three days. I don't want to know. Sleeping pills, bottle of vodka. Uh, we need to go the other way. Time, huh? You know, I don't like that stuff. My brain's yeah. fortress. You know, when I was a boy, my brother was scared of the dark. So my mother left the light. It helped him. The light interfered with my imagination. Son of a bitch. It's for the same die. reason. Charles, where's the researchers? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stockhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. <gasps> I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Theoretical physics. Some doctor you are, you grenade tossing bitch. Make the world safer or prettier. Just gives us the oh yeah, we go this way. Right, 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 right. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy ass critter? We have you crispy ass critter, crispin the critters. What do you mean by everything? You trust Echinov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not going to believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. Fuck off. With the grenade kill the and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. 
Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not gonna put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall you. Um... Return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All, all items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. The first thing he will do is review the log. He wants the beta connectors. Uh, not me up, I missed it. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, it's really hard to keep track of where I am loading the next part and like keeping track of my frame rate too. Destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, comrade major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. Fuck the off. The grenade killed stock and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not going to put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall to you. When you return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. Uh... Is is problems I'm on the floor. Apparently everybody wants... And I can't see anything. Fuck, yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, I thought my strat would be okay. It works, but it's not, like, an easy one to pull off. I must insist that you... Also, because I don't really care about this run, we're going to turn off the dialogue until I get past this part and we'll turn it back on. <laughs> I don't want to hear about fucking the rings anymore. Nah, if I get this, it's it's pretty much free. Problem is, I, because nothing wants to ever fucking load in, like, it's just... Yeah, I might need to go back and look at my VOD to see exactly how I clipped in here. <clears throat> I thought I walked a little forward. Did, uh... Did an infinite jump and then fell in, but that doesn't seem to be working. Sweet, sweet silence. Yeah. Alone with my thoughts. I might be a found out I can make medkits, you know. Probably something I should have known, but it's nice. A little peace of mind. Where, uh, fuck me. Oh, okay. Where I need to be. Woo, a little scary. 
Uh, I need the B. Where is she at? Okay, over there. I need to clip into here. Uh, I'm going to do it at this end. I think this end might be better. I can. I've kind of forgotten my own route through here. Oh, did this not work? Oh, shit. I thought that worked. We up to like two forty. No, uh, and it clipped me through. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look at my vod. I don't care. Like I, I don't know exactly what I did. Oh, I'm just so I'm so tired and stressed about this run. I just want the work. I want the work so bad. Oh, yes, I love skimming through it. <laughs> A 12 hour video. Uh. Aha! Is that the trick that I did? A uh who? -huh. Okay. I might, I might, I might have seen, might have seen, might have seen. I might have just completely forgotten my strat. Yeah, you go here instead. Uh, right. <laughs> this is the right spot, but okay. 
Did I load in? Oh, I reloaded. Oh, no, I'm not. This wasn't the thing. <gasps> I didn't watch farther in the video. I'm stupid. Oh, no. It was the other thing. This this should work, though, I think. Um, unless I'm trapped in bounds. Is this really stuck here? No shot, right? Any notes? No. Like, just... I've been playing for too long, I'm tired. I really go through it? Alright, fuck you, game. I don't I need a better strat for this. Yeah, the strat just sucks ass. That's all it is. I just did like a one try thing. Like I, I got it once and just assumed it was gonna be fine. I need something better. So I wanna get past it tonight and then we'll look into better strats tomorrow. So I want to make sure I can complete a run, everything works as it should, we can find the credits. That's all I want. <laughs> I just want, I just want a dot done. Oh my god, fuck off. I'm tired and cranky. My eyes are drying out. My knees are weak. My arms are heavy. I know the whole point of this trick is to um really this is not gonna load in anymore. It's just gonna unload right in my face. Wow. Like, unload the room so I can s slip in, but, like, man, if I could just see where the fuck I'm going, it'd be terrific. <laughs> well, this is cool. Damn. I thought this run was ready for prime time. I mean, I like it's like 
getting down here is pretty reliable. It's just, yeah, I gotta, gotta work on getting the clip back in here. Yeah, it's like because I can't, I literally can't see what's happening. I I don't know if I'm dropping a jump, if I'm just not where I should be. I don't. <laughs> literally impossible to tell. Oh man, that looks so close to the end. I just, I want to rage quit and just go to sleep, but like we're like right at the end. No, oh, fuck. I think that's GG on the stump. Yep, that's just too far. Missed the... Missed the tube. So I think that was like a, it's like a good idea to go over here, but like mm, okay, idea time. Problems you can't just jump here. Like if you're on the ground, you're just locked to the ground. Otherwise, this would be like a piece of cake. Like it's a nice, tasty piece of cake, you know. If I'm in here, I think it's GG as well. Yeah, if you get locked in. Uh, okay. If I get there, we're good. Um, assuming. Eventually I'll get enough height to get over this thing. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. If I, if I can get in that little thing somehow... I was trying to avoid it before, but uh, that'll work. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it then. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, and she teleports here. You can clip further. Um... Wait, she's not here now. 
I did this earlier and she teleported up here. Is it because I had done the other part? Uh, ooh. Um. That's bad. Uh... Ew. Yeah, she still speaks, she's just not here, and I need her here actually to leave the area. I, yeah, when I did this before, she actually, like, this part didn't load her in, um, but that part did. No, you you need her. You need her to leave the area. We tested this earlier. I know. Yeah, you're supposed to have got her all the way through. I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? Mm. Okay, play this one. Maybe if you do two, she warps. So unless you like literally have to do it backwards, which in that case it's not feasible, so we can't get out of this room. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the if that's the case, I gotta go back to the drawing board. We don't actually have a skip here then. Why did it not work? P3 and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with our That's really fucking annoying. And our Gentum personnel have been warned against Why did it work before and not now? So last time I walked into that cutscene, she loaded in. That's it. Listen, Doc, you saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. Because before, they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod neuropolymer brain. If there is, then I'm not sure. Because this is exactly what I did last time. I hit this cutscene. She loaded in, walked walked along this hallway with me. That's what's what worked. Even though she, in this cutscene, she didn't pop up. In here. Uh, might just be GG. Might just be a fucking killer on do it tomorrow. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yes, a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife? It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Uh, why? Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also such enough? No. Look at my VOD while this happens. Uh, 
Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never design Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. Yep, just went to that cutscene, and she spawned on the other side. He's just not here this time. I don't get it. I guess you're right. Uh, I'm not sitting through the entire academy. Let's either go back and try to find a new route, or just fucking kill it. Like. Yeah, that's so, that's so annoying. So I like, I, I can't jump, I can't, so I can't break out of this. Reload. No, what I need it to happen is when I hit this cutscene for her to load in. That was what was expected to happen. It didn't happen. I do not know how much more I can make that clear. What we found before... As we hit that cutscene, she loaded in on the other side, we were good to go. When I hit that trigger this time, she did not load in. That's all there is. The game lies. Game save doesn't do anything. She's here. Now well, we're not going to guide her all the way across. Let me hit this thing and see what happens. I don't want to kill the run because I actually want to fucking finish it to make sure it actually works. The one thing I didn't get to check is if the bad ending actually plays out the way it should. I feel like if I stop now it's just a fucking waste of a 12 hour stream. Maybe this will work. This is really open. I could finish a run today.
And she's not here. Yay. I love the fact that this game makes zero sense. It literally doesn't make any sense. Why did it work earlier? About the only thing I feel like I. Oh, and I can't fucking get my frame rate back up to actually do anything. I'm just so annoyed with my FPS, dude. I randomly hit some trigger that spawned her in early. There's zero way to tell. Is this whatever this thing is? Put this a bajillion times real quick. No, oh, cool. I'm here now. Awesome. Oh, and you're just stuck down here forever? That's cool. Uh, I mean, that might actually be a strat. Not really, but... I really don't want to watch the fucking lighthouse cutscenes to finish this off. the wrong part anyways. Uh, go. So watch the stupid fucking cutscenes and waste 20 minutes of my life to check the ending.
go.
She pushed me into the fucking ground. Dude, I've never wanted to uninstall a game faster than this shit. All I want to do is fucking check the end of this game to make sure it works. I have to watch the cutscene a second time. Fuck it, let's just watch the whole goddamn thing. Alright, just climb the window. I don't care anymore. Like, I, I legitimately don't care about this game anymore.
To prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign, Blesna, in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife? 
It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Uh, why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. On Monday, don't say some shit. How? The thought to send for the so keen. He told him to hit him in the top. She'd be punching. But I was a big head dog. Nothing. You were a big dog. As you asked, our spellers do the most swim chili. I can't feel it. There's like some big fish. Can we go, Major? I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit! No! Not now! Not here! Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be lifted very sunny. soon. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying planned. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were uh, a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, uh, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Uh, nothing but blood and ripped off heads uh, everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? 
I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done stand with down, it. lady. Then set an off to turn everyone into mindless meat bags. I, First the Soviet I, Union, then the rest fine, of the world. Fine, I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Charitan Zaharov. Charitan? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zina this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already. Crispy critters. What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal of yours? Now you're talking,
boss. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay. I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left. Terminate.
boss. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Calm down, Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the stars. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One. What a shame. Two. It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate.
Boss? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Calm down, Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay. I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One. What a shame. Two. It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, Bullet. So to make everybody happy, we just need to kill all the unhappy people. Right, Dr. Sechenov? Remember, Major, robots don't kill people. The people who created them do. What are you blathering about, Keratin? We've done you all lousy this. You lousy piece of shit. Cheriton's manipulating you. You are fucking with me right now for the good of humanity? <laughs> He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Charity, did you do the same thing to Dr. Falatova? <laughs> did you use my agent to tear her limb from I'm limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've been uh, uh, of you, Major. Uh, Your uh, job is done. Uh, uh. P3, 
three, my boy. Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. Pure evil? What? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human, a species that will soon be extinct. I realize. When I stop being human myself, your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. No. Not charity. No. no. Ah, The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished.